Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill. This time we're going to take a look at a couple of things I've been doing with my micro bit X uh, QRP transceiver which you can hopefully see just ticking away in the background there. It's an amazing piece of kit um, for what it is um, and a few weeks ago I was operating on uh, on 5 megahertz 60 meter band and uh, one of the operators said to me that my audio um, uh, wasn't the best and uh, so I thought I'd better um, have a look into that. So having checked the um, the calibration of the um, Arduino um, or I think it's called Arduino or Artuno that's it um, which, which is the, the processor that controls the um, oscillators for the radio that seemed okay so then I started looking online to see what was what in terms of um, audio problems with the radio and the supplied microphone that comes with it uh, has the Baofang brand on it here this is th the mic that came with it as you can see it's no longer the mic that's attached to it uh, and one of the things that was suggested um, was that you try enlarging the hole um, lots of comments about replacing the electric electric mic element but somebody suggested enlarging the hole in fact a couple of people did so I did that and it didn't appear to make any appreciable difference so here is a, a screen grab of the spectrum analyzer and this is uh, me going making an R sound into the microphone and you can hopefully see there I've got it centered on 5.379 megahertz we've got one kilohertz per division here so you can see there's quite a pronounced audio at um, uh, 5380 which is the um, one kilohertz up and then there's another one about three kilohertz above the um, tune frequency um, and in between there's quite a pronounced scoop certainly at about um, two and a half kilohertz there's this sort of a bit missing that really ought to be there and I, th I guess this is what the problem was so hunted around for an electric mic um, insert and couldn't find one um, so eventually I hit on using something entirely different which is this um, old speaker mic that, that I think originally I used to use it with a, a Yesu rig many years ago um, and that rig's um, long gone uh, so it was a speaker mic and uh, so it is no longer a speaker mic I don't need the speaker mic function uh, and the wiring was slightly different so I had to wire it to suit the, the wiring of the um, micro bit X which just involved um, cutting a couple of traces on the internal circuit board and just wiring a little jumper in so I got it working like that incidentally if you're looking for things about the micro bit X on the internet there's loads of stuff I think possibly the most frustrating bit about that is it's in so many different places but of course that's the beauty of an open source project so I won't criticize that too much so I simply wired this mic up and the electric mic element is there so it's completely unchanged so now have a look at this for a, 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 an analysis and you can hopefully see straight away uh, we've got a much more um, if you like uh, rounded approach to um, uh, the signal so we've got a pronounced signal um, between about 500 Hertz above the the tune frequency right up to three kilohertz when it drops off uh, just nicely uh, and that was just by changing the mic so that's hopefully solved my audio problem and just for completeness sake um, the purple trace is the old um, mic response the yellow trace is the new mic response and you can see there is quite a difference again this is just me saying ah oh, into the into the microphone so if you've got a micro bit x and you've got a few audio problems um, just a different electric mic insert uh, might just make all the difference so hopefully uh, that's a useful little mod uh, now we're going to go to the bench to look at the um, the addition that i've been making Okay, so a few weeks ago I uh, uh, did a video looking at um, a soldering station which had been sent to review and uh, I was actually building a little circuit board. This is the circuit board in question. Uh, I'll just run a little little speeded up clip of me uh, assembling the board which you can see going on there. Now this is uh, a little kit from Kanga Products and it's uh, a QRP SWR indicator bridge. Now apparently there's lots of controversy about um, resistive SWR bridges but as the blurb that uh, came with the uh, 
the kit, which here is uh, some of the paperwork, is actually um, rather detailed. But the beauty of this um, little kit is that it always presents 50 ohms to the radio no matter what. So uh, that's that's what it's called, the QRP SWR Bridge, Kanga Products. Um, I'll put make sure I put a link in the description to them. And so the arrangement I've got here, I've got the Microbit X, I've got it attached um, to the to the bridge, and then here I've got it attached to uh, my MFTA um, tuner. And you can hopefully also see there I've got a dummy load on here, so I'm not uh, radiating any uh, RF while I'm doing this uh, testing. And then I'm going to just arrange that so I can easily adjust the controls on the front here. Currently they're all uh, set to the middle. Now there's two settings on this, very straightforward. We've got um, uh, tune if you like or straight through on that switch and I've yet to uh, get a little box for this. I'm probably going to get a box something like this that I've got my return loss bridge in that would almost fit actually. So I'll probably get a little box like that to fit it in. Um, because you need to be able to see the LED indicator and there's also a little uh, pot to adjust the sensitivity on there which uh, uh, I found useful to adjust. So ordinarily um, in straight through mode uh, nothing happens here uh, however when you uh, want to use the bridge you flick into um, if you like tuner mode and so then if you key the mic you can hopefully see the LEDs flashing. If I switch to bypass doesn't um, obviously that's now removed the circuit. So so the object here then is to adjust the tuner. I'm going into a dummy load here and remember also that the uh, radio is seeing 50 ohms all the time. Um, so I'm talking into the mic and that's what you can see from the, the SSB peaks flashing the um, uh, LED. Ho hopefully you can see the LED flashing. So I'm now going to make an R sound and I'll try and um, adjust the, the tuner now. Um, to, so that the LED goes out. Ah. All right, there you go. Um, hopefully, uh, you could see that was. I'm sure you don't want to listen to me saying R ah for ages. Um, we'll just have one more go. Ah. There we go. So with the um, with those settings on the tuner, the LED has gone out, and we've now got hopefully got a, a match. Now, when I've put a, a SWR meter in line with all this, which I'm not going to do today, uh, it does indeed um, show that the SWR is now uh, acceptable. So ordinarily, you'd simply um, attach that to the tuner, obviously that to your antenna, tune up and then uh, tune until the LED goes out uh, and then you've uh, you've got a match and you can switch the tuner out so you don't lose any of your already precious QRP signals um, and what's quite nice is and I discovered initially when, when I built it obviously the position of this pot was just wherever it was when it came from manufacturing and I needed to actually turn the sensitivity up a little bit um, not not all the way, but up a little bit, so that I, I could actually um, see an indication. Now, uh, one of the the problems with this radio, and the, one of the reasons for getting this bit of kit, of course, is that it doesn't really produce enough power to um, to to allow either of my two auto tuners to actually work. So uh, that's why I wanted something that um, would allow me to 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 use it. Uh, in the field if you like but also to use it without too, too much faff so yeah I'm going to build this into a box I might even fit it inside the um, microbit X or possibly even inside the tuner I haven't decided which yet since these two uh, um, do stay together but that's the QRP SWR bridge uh, which nicely solves the problem of this radio not putting enough power out to um, to key a, a conventional auto tuner. So there you go, a couple of additions to the uh, Microbit X, a new microphone, um, well an old microphone but a, diff a different one which is um, from as you can see from the spectro analyzer plots earlier has solved the audio problem and QRP SWR bridge which has solved my little uh, tuning the antenna problem. So there we go. Okay well that's it 
for this video. Hopefully those two um, additions to my uh, micro -vis X are going to uh, help me a bit more with operation. Uh, although I've had my PAM radio license for, for nearly 40 years, I, I'm not much of a transmitter. I have to say I do enjoy FT8. I'm sure that'll appall some of you who consider FT8 to not be proper radio, but I enjoy it. Um, somebody um, I was watching, I think, an Australian guy on YouTube who said that uh, the best thing about FT8 was you didn't have to listen to some uh, to some pensioner telling you about his ailments. Well, um, as a pensioner with some ailments, I completely understand that, and I wouldn't want to burden any of them uh, upon anybody, really. Um, but more importantly, QRP, uh, QRP is great, as is FT8. So um, I say, embrace the future. Thanks very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.